Okay, so we're on a road trip and we're up by, in northern Idaho by Coeur d'Alene. And we're going to Silverwood in a few days, but today we're going to drive over to Wallace, Idaho and go to the Sierra Silver Mine and just see what that's all about and just the pretty country. It's at the end of the summer, right before school starts for us. And so it's just beautiful weather, beautiful scenery. So we're going to have a really fun day. Okay, so the town we're staying in, we had like last minute, we last minute planned this whole trip because we just didn't know if we were going to be able to go or not and it's Labor Day weekend. So we called 11 RV parks and they were all full. And so we ended up finding this one and they had just a few spots open. So luckily we got a spot, but we're like in Sagal, Idaho, I think is how you say it. Yeah. You guys all excited to go? Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking Where's dad at? at and the other kids? Getting a candy, candy bar. bar. Yeah, we barely left and there's a gas station out here so we had to get a candy um, bar. What, bud? Um, why do we um, do tablets? Why can't we do tablets? Yeah. So we brought two tablets for the, you know, to keep them entertained. It was an 11 hour drive yesterday. Yeah. It's supposed to be yeah. seven. We figured maybe nine, but it was 11. We took lots of stops and had to have lunch and all that. And plus we're taking our van this time, which doesn't pull our camper that great, but it's just more comfortable for everybody. And so anyways, it, it took, there was a couple passes that it took a long time, but yeah. Sorry Bruin, we only do, the tablet when we're going on longer rides, okay? This one's only an hour and a half drive. So look out, we're gonna see pretty mountains and it's gonna be a beautiful drive. Okay, so we stopped at a little park thing that we had lunch and we got out, they didn't have a bathroom though, so we stopped earlier and bought tickets for the trolley ride. This town is really cool, it has all these really old houses in it. It's Labor Day weekend and so there's a flea market in town that they had under the freeway. It looks like they have lots of, um, there's different side-by-sides and four-wheelers driving through town, so I'm guessing they've got good places to ride. So. Maybe we'll have to come back here and see what they've got. It's really cool. But it's like looking back in time, the town. And I wonder where that goes. It's like a stairway up in the, oh, it's cool. I wonder if there's like a little pathway up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
area, 36 big major mines here in the valley. The minerals that we mine here in the valley are silver, lead, zinc, copper. sleep on one of my tours. <laughs> 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 I've been doing it for a lot of years. It's very smart to settle in Norwegian. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're too little to run. <laughs> and young lady, 50-50 chance. Is the exhaust on this machine hot or cold? <laughs> Just take a guess. Hot. Don't go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That cool, guys? Is that heavy? Yeah. Is it heavy? Is it heavy?
for two adults and two kids, and she said the rest of them were free. So I don't know if you could hear the tour guide very good. He talked a lot. We tried to get him talking. He was pretty funny, but um, that wasn't the actual mine, right? It was just um, one that they kind of replicated back in the 70s to teach high schoolers. It was like a high school classroom, is what he said. So he got that awesome knife, and then Lucy and Kingston, you guys have your knives? Yeah. Okay, she got one with a, what is it? An eagle, and he got one with a? Bear. Bear, yep. So Nathaniel, little random fact, he has a knife collection that he's had since he was a kid, and his grandpa gave him some, and um, he, yeah, he likes knives. Because I'm a ninja. He's a ninja. And the country up here is just, we couldn't get very much of the lake. Maybe we'll see that on a different day. We should have brought the drone. But yeah, we should have brought the drone. We didn't bring it for this trip. So, anyways, we got Panda Express to go because everywhere's super busy. It's Labor Day weekend, Saturday night. So we just decided we're gonna take it back to our to our RV park and you know the picnic table. Okay, well, we made it back and dinner is served. Is it good, guys? Yeah. Have you guys ever had panda before? Yeah, once. once. I don't before. remember. Um, I maybe panda is much too good for children, so <laughs> they don't get it a lot. But Well, it feels a lot cooler now. It was kind of hot today, so some yeah. of us are feeling kind of sick, trying to drink a lot of water. Hopefully we'll have a good, we're going to just take it easy tonight, watch a movie. Alright, well we are calling it a night. Um, the boys went to the shower houses, Nathaniel took all the boys to go shower. And, yep, except little Ruger, he stayed with Mama. And the girls are just having a little quiet time watching a YouTube video. So anyways, we are calling it a night. We are tired, we're fed now, we're ready for bed. So, we have had so much fun making these videos. I love this road trip being um, with the kids, and I'm really glad we got to do it right before school starts. And um, yeah, so keep watching, and hopefully, the next video we'll have is going to Silverwood. We're super excited about that. Tomorrow. Yeah, Brooklyn, we don't know how she'll do. She, she hasn't been feeling that great this trip. 